spring is here. Actually, spring never leaves, summer never leaves. I've been barefoot all winter, all, all fall. But people, look at the beauty of God's creation. Let me show you something. See this tree? It hardly ever blooms like this. Look at it. See how beautiful the pink is against the green? Isn't God's creation wonderful? That he created this tree, cherry blossom tree. He created these, all these trees, palm trees, the different variety of trees, the variety of animals, birds. God is a wonderful creator, the greatest artist ever. He created you. You're one of his greatest pieces of art. And of course dogs, all animals, but you are his greatest piece of artwork. And more than artwork, he made you a little bit lower than the angels, but definitely in his image, in what he imagined you to be like. So whenever you look in the mirror, see the Lord's creation. Whenever you look at yourself, don't try to upgrade God's creation. He made you perfect. Everything about you. Don't compare yourself to other people because you're unique in that way that God imagined, imaged you to be. Like a fingerprint. You are his fingerprint or his footprint or his imprint. And there can be, a, can be no other. No two are alike. Even twins have some differences. So I'm just giving you a little look as I sit here and ponder over the creation of the Lord. Sorry for the dog, but he has the bark. That's his communication skill. Look how beautiful it is. We're coming upon the days of, in my opinion, awe, but they are. The Feast of First Fruits, Passover, the Purim season, all the good season of renewal when the Lord restores. And of course, if you are not looking and paying attention, people, these are the precursor days to tribulation of the end times. The food shortages, the rumors of war, the unsteadiness in everything. Do you feel it, people? Are you preparing? You should already be prepared, but mostly prepare your spirit. Get right with the Lord. Get righteous and walk rightly before the Lord and commune with the Lord. Get a relationship. Let me tell you something. If somebody just showed up at my house and said, let me in. I want to eat. I want to sit down and enjoy your house. Guess what? I must say, I know you not. Get thee away from my house. I know you not. So when some of you people finally shed this temporary covering this body and go into the next dimension where you are going to meet the maker, the creator, your creator, because you may not acknowledge him, but he acknowledges you. And one day you will acknowledge him. It says in his word, your knee will bow and your tongue will confess. He is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ the only begotten Son of God, the only way, truth, and life to that eternity. But the thing is, which eternity will you be in? Which reality? Which dimension? Will you be in the place called hell, where the worm doesn't die? Meaning, the, the suffering and the eating away of, of your 
yourself, you're going to suffer eternally if you go to that place called hell made for the devil and his angels. It wasn't made for you. God didn't imagine you in hell. He didn't image you. He didn't make you in his image to put you in a place called hell. He prepared a place called heaven. And there lives the light of the Lord and righteousness and peace dwelleth with the Lord. You people better wake up and choose the right path. Stop the witchcraft. Stop the curses. Stop the Baal worship, idol worship, other gods. He said, put no other god before him for he is a jealous god. Aren't you jealous of your husband and your children and the things that you love? You should be. You don't want somebody taking their place or you being uh, put away for somebody else. Wouldn't you be mad? Well, the Lord is even mad when you put him away. So, get to know him. Be faithful to the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart. And love one another. Stop coveting. Stop looking at what your neighbor or the other people you know have and, and wanting and coveting after that. Be thankful for what the Lord has given you. He gave you life, breath, joy. It says in his word, for the joy of the Lord is set before you that you can endure the race called life and have his peace dwell with you. I am a living witness, people. I went through some tribulations in my life, but never have the Lord forsaken me. Every time I called upon the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he was there to lift me up. You're not going to go through life without tribulations, people. That is a false uh, prophet lie. Some churches tell you, Oh, prosperity and riches. And listen, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. And you are going to go through some tribulations in life. But the thing of it is, you go through it. You don't stay in it. And the Lord brings you through it. You don't bring yourself through it. And you can struggle and try to bring yourself through. Your but guess what? When we try to do it ourselves, we always mess up. Why do you think that man is above with all power and authority given unto him that gave you his Holy Spirit, the comforter? He sends you his peace, his help. But you got to have a relationship. Like I say, you just can't show up and say, I want this, Lord. I want that, Lord. He doesn't answer to that. He answers to his children like you answer to your children and your children answer to you. So... If you are a child of the Almighty and there's no way to the Lord God but through Jesus Christ, the Father gave you a way to Him. You can't just approach the Father. You gotta go through the Son of God, Yeshua, Amashiach, the sacrifice official lamb of God, Yah, Yahweh, God, our Almighty King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, yes. Given you haven't been on lately because of my own tribulations, but guess what? I made it through. Just as I made it through, you can make it. So I hope you all are having a wonderful Passover season. It's not Easter. Put that bunny rabbit away. Put that white bearded satanic Santa Claus away. Put away the idols and open up the word, Yeshua's word, the message he sent you. It's more than a message. It's a love letter. It's a, it's a blueprint of how to live in these shells until he comes again. Prepare for the tribulation season. Get your storehouses filled. You see man's storehouses are empty. You see the plagues in the land. You see the up unsteadiness and the uprooting of normalcy. But guess what? In your house, there can be peace called Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Yeshua is his Aramaic name. Get to know him, people. 
I am a living witness. The Lord Yeshua HaMashiach is the living God. He is not dead. He is not wooden. He is not a Buddha. He is not a Baal. He is not an idol that you wear around your neck in worship. He is a living, holy God, mighty to the tearing down of strongholds, to the uprooting and, the, and to the protection of you. You don't have to fear. He didn't give you a spirit of fear, but a power, sound mind, and love. So get to know the love, the love of Jesus Christ in the season of Purim, Passover, first fruits. He is all of that. Hallelujah. Amen.